Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. So, I'm not gonna lie, for the past maybe 10-15 minutes I've been trying to contemplate on what to talk about. While going through that process though, that mind, that thought process, something kept stumbling across my brain. Certain conversations scattered that I've had in the past. All of them have one thing in common. One very, very potentially uh, mentally dangerous thing. Assumptions. Now, when I say dangerous, I don't mean like you assume something and someone suddenly dies. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's goofy, weird, and stupid. That's not what I mean. I'll, so let me go into detail within this video and we'll dis discuss exactly what's going through my head and why I feel this way. Throughout everyone's life, we all assume. We all assume certain things based off the very little data that we can sometimes receive from people. For example, say somebody sends you a random... I don't know. I hate you text or message depending on where you're getting the source like out of the middle of nowhere you see that you try to go to their page and it's blocked off but you have no idea why it's going on you have no context no nothing so what are you going to do you're probably going to assume off of the if you're not asking questions or if you're not able to you're probably assuming based off the last events that had happened around this individual. Uh, for example, I can actually give a good personal life example. I had a high school f um, best friend named Tyler. I'm not going to say his last name or anything. Just saying Tyler for the first and that's it. This friend of mine was, we were best friends. We were friends for a very, very long time. From early middle school all the way to the uh, end of graduation. And we communicated after I had to move out of, like, I had to move a long distance away from where we both graduated, but we kept in touch. Eventually, I still wonder to this day what exactly was really going on, but he started to block me and a couple of um, people who I knew off because we would get either into different friendships or relationships or whatever it may be. None of us understood the motive behind that. One person was told that he just felt like he was being ignored or brushed aside. Realistically, this was never the case. At least not for me. Maybe it was for some of the others, but it definitely wasn't for me. I'm not the kind of person, person to brush another person aside. Just push them aside, forget them kind of thing. I would never do that. But when this happened, I was blocked off. I couldn't even see his posts. And this was on Facebook, by the way. At the time. I don't know what's going on now. I haven't checked up in a while. I should, but it's been a long time since I did last, so who knows. Um... <clears throat> Last I checked, he was a businessman in a pretty profitable company. He wasn't like the CEO or anything like that. He was just like kind of a desk job kind of thing. But, so I do wish him well, but it's a good example of what I'm talking about. He blocked off and left that tiny fraction of thing, but didn't make sense to me because it's not something I had done. So I had to assume, was he just... Did he feel possibly abandoned or something? I don't I don't know. But I had to assume that and moved on. Is it actually what happened? Who knows? I, I don't I don't know. Possibly? Possibly not. But that's the thing about assumptions that make them very dangerous. When you look at something with very little information to go off of, and you start assuming, if you're right, kudos. But if you're wrong, there are so many outcomes that can happen. I don't know. Let's use a more commonly known topic. One that I've experienced in the past, but it's been so long since I have, but I do recall 
so I can kind of relate to it. But let's use the topic of cheating. There are actual symptoms of this, by the way, where you can notice somebody's acting in a way and you'll be like, that person is cheating on me. But you have to actually pay attention, and most of us don't. It's not common to do. So, under a natural circumstance, let's say you're having a conversation with your significant other at the time, you know, like girlfriend or boyfriend. And they start stuttering. You're like, are you okay? They're like, hesitating to talk to you. But you know they're not sick or anything. They look over to the side for a moment. You follow their gaze and they're looking at another guy. But they look back at you. The girl looks back at you afterwards. Or the guy looks back at you afterwards and say the, girl, the guy is looking at another girl. It goes either way. What are you going to assume just based off that small bit of information? They, they're hesitant. They're hesitating to talk to you, and they look at another individual of the opposite, uh, like of your same sex. What are you gonna do? Well, natural human instinct will say, "Are you into that guy? Do you know him? Stuff like that. Or are you into that girl? Do you know her? Stuff like that." most natural instinct would do that. Now, there are some exceptions. Don't get me wrong. Not everyone assumes this. Some people assume like, oh, yeah, I know. He, he, like, some people assume based off the response, I don't know, maybe the person's just distracted. But that's the thing. What if one of those is wrong and the other one is right? What if you assume the wrong thing? That could cause a major problem. A major trust problem of any kind. Assumptions, if they're lighthearted, they're fine. But if they have anything to do with any kind of heavy topic at all, like the two examples I gave today, it could be drastically impactful. Like, I don't know. Let's say this friend I was talking about, I assumed that they were blocking us off because they despised us. And I crossed paths with this person again. And I approached him saying, what was the big idea? You just blocked us off for no reason. It probably would start a large unnecessary argument. Whereas when you could just simply go, hey, um, you blocked us off a while ago. Are you doing okay? That's a complete, that implies a completely different assumption. That something was going on, yes, but you're willing to at least accept the fact that you don't know what it is. Instead of assuming, you ask. The big problem with assumptions is that when you assume, you're risking big problems. Or minor problems. Say it's something minuscule. It's, I don't know. Say, I don't know. Um... You get a birthday invitation to a birthday party at, I don't know, Johnny's eight years old birthday party. And the invite says, go to this address, but does not tell you the time. So you have to assume. You try to reach out, nothing happens. What are you going to do? I don't know, hypothetically, let's just say you assume that the time is, well, at any party time is... In, this, in that neighborhood. 8 p.m., I don't know. That's, a, that's literally a wild number. This is a completely fake scenario. You go only to find the location. It is holding a party, but it's for this random person that you don't know. Next day... You're given a call saying, where were you? You were supposed to bring this, this. You were supposed to bring the cake. You were supposed to bring the streamers. Where did you go? Where were you? And say your phone was off the previous day. This is minor, right? It's not as big a deal. I'm sorry. It didn't say what time. And I tried to reach you guys, but I never got in contact. That's, that's always going to be the response. It's not as big a deal. They'll be like, oh. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess I thought we told you, but I guess not if it's a generous person. 
And let's assume it is, because for the most part, people are. They're pretty understand. People are pretty understanding about that. Anyway, if you were to assume that's what would happen, you'd risk something as simple as that. If it's something minor, it's not as big a deal. But if it's anything, anything big of any kind, you are risking major problems by assuming things. So the better thing to do, really in synopsis, is rather than assuming, ask questions. I mean, there's a reason many, 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 many jobs out, if not every job out there nowadays, there's a reason all of them say, look, if you don't know what to do, ask questions. When in doubt, ask questions. It never says, when in doubt, assume. Let's take a fast food industry, for example. A lot of fast food restaurants have fry state, fryers, fry stations. What if they, you're, not, you're, you're not told what to, how to cook something, so you assume? You see a bunch of buttons, but it doesn't exactly give you, you know, directions on what the icons above them mean. So you push a random button, put it down. Manager's too busy to notice at the time, and by the time they come up, they're burnt. Manager's not going to be too happy. That's a waste of product and a waste of money. So that would probably get him pretty him or her pretty frustrated because that's that manager's wallet getting emptied by that one mistake now at first sure it's not a big deal but if this becomes like a constant thing then of course over time it's going to irritate the person so how about instead of assuming which button to push or keep guessing ask oh hey yeah french fries which button is it number four Oh, okay, thank you. Boop, down, ding, up, fresh fries. Other, do that other than just pushing random buttons until you finally figure it out, burning probably a whole full box of them. You just, if you do that, you're basically wasting a, a, a lot of like, I don't know, depending on the location, what, how full the box is, how much it provides, it could be, I don't know. Hypothetically, it, it, it still wastes money out of the wallet of the person who runs the place. It's another prime example of why assumptions are a really, really bad thing when it comes to the major aspects of life. Once again, like I said, if it's a minor thing and it's corrected pretty easily, sure, fine. But... If it's part, if it's involving anything major, do not assume. It is a really, really bad idea. Take it from someone who knows. I am not saying this just because I think I'm I, I'm smart and I know this above everyone else. I'm saying it because I've done it before. And any time, the reason I gave the examples I did is I'm trying to relate, but I'm also trying to not give personal life direct experiences that still matter to my current time. Assumptions, unless minor, do not end well if you're wrong. And I've had this impact on both ways. I've assumed on others and I was right, and you know it went well. But I've also assumed on others and I've been wrong, and oh, I did not want to go down that path. And the reverse has happened as well where people would assume things from my end and be spot on. I'd be like, how the hell did you know? And then there'd be people who'd assume the completely wrong idea just because they have minuscule details. And I'll be like, could you just let me talk? <laughs> you find out how wrong you are. And this happens to me so often. It also happens to other people from me often. Okay, not as often now as it used to, but you get the point. That is why I figured, hey, I was thinking about it. Why, why, why not? Might not be a bad topic to talk about. I don't know. What are your guys' opinions on this? Um, I could talk and ramble about this for a very long time, but you know what? I, I think I've said when, enough of what's on my mind before I go in circles. So if you did like what was said, make sure to give the video a like. And consider subscribing to the channel because we do discussion and rant videos like this all the time. 
Speaking of, why not click the link on the side of my head over here where you'll find a lot of those at this point. Or if this isn't quite floating your boat and you're kind enough to stay to the end of the video, first of all, thank you. You're awesome. But second of all, click link on this side and maybe you'll be able to find something that floats your boat a little bit more. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys. Whoop, I'm trying to get set up here. They, thank you guys so much once again for watching this video, and we hope to see you guys in another one. Bye.